Hello everyone, Liav is here. So as some of you know, I made this timer for E36. This is a really tiny timer. As you can see, it's about 30 millimeters, including the pins. And uh, if I just zoom out a bit and take scale, you can see that this timer is also very light. It weighs almost one gram, less than a gram. So it's it's really good in, in just those terms, um, and in order to work with it, I'm not going to show everything here, but just to demonstrate uh, the important key, you start it up, and if you want to change anything, you need to press three clicks, and then you see different patterns of light, and. You need to remember this in order to change the DT time and the motor RPM and everything else, which is actually pain in the ass. Well, I admit it. Well, this timer has many features, but it's very difficult to program. So what I have for you today is, let's see, is this timer here. Well, uh, it looks exactly the same. And you're right, this is the exact same PCB so what's the difference is the software inside this chip. I made a new software here, which also that means that if you have an old timer of E36, you can upgrade the software to get the new one. And soon you will see what's the difference. So first, instead of connecting directly servo here to the left, you need to connect this cable. This is a three pin cable an extension for the servo and here another three cable that go here to this four uh, connector only the two right pins are shorted here so let's connect it and see how it works connect it like this i connect the servo here and what we're we doing is this we have this bluetooth module this is this allow to this timer to communicate with other Bluetooth devices such as Android device. So I connect it, where's the VCC is here. And you don't need to put it on your model. You just need to connect it in order to program the timer. And when you're done, you just do it like this and you're good to go. So it's very easy and it, so you don't have to carry the weight of the, this model. And uh, I'll connect here the battery instead of a speed controller because I don't uh, have one accessible here um, and I'll bring my phone my other phone so let's see zoom out so I just kill the app I want to start it from scratch this app uh, in this app, I already paired the Bluetooth. You can see it's yellow, it's connected, connecting to this. And now when it's blue, it means they are connected together. So I did it previously before I started this video. And here you can see all the data here that you can fill all the configuration of the timer. Now you can see here it's only hints. They're, they are all empty. This button on the left, it's upload. That means you can upload the data from the timer to the phone. And this is a send, sorry. The other one is send, so you can send uh, all the data uh, from the application to the timer. So now it's disconnected because I accidentally pressed back. Let's make it start again. So this is a prototype, so it's a good thing to kill the app and start it back again if it won't connect. So now when it's connected, I'll press the upload and you can see we have all the data here. Two minutes for GT time, three seconds for motor time, one and a half seconds for ramp up time, 59% of max RPM and 20% start RPM and for delay. So if you want to change anything, it's very simple. We just change it like this. From four seconds, we want to change to three seconds, for example. So we're doing like this and press send. 
and it sends to the timer. We want to change the direction of the servo, I press this to change it from reverse to normal and I press send and the servo will move to the other side. That's easy. When you press send, it sends all the data here on the screen in less than a second, as you can see. And so also what's new besides that programming, I added two new features that uh, were not inside this this timer, the old one before. So first, ramp up time. Uh, well, uh, if you remember, for, uh, when you use this timer, you first need to long press on this button in order to start the engine. But you cannot throw it immediately because there is a safety feature of the ramp up time. Uh, on this timer, it's hard coded to one and a half seconds. That means that after the motor started, you must wait at least one and a half sec seconds before it throw. And I made it for safety reasons. That means that if you accidentally press this button and the motor started, your automatic reaction, if you didn't intend to do this, is to throw the model away and then the motor will stop immediately uh, to not injure anyone. So other friends told me that they don't want to wait so long. They wait. They want to wait, for example, half a second. So they, they want to change it. So I made it possible here. Another thing that uh, I, I notified about is that um, when the motor is started, it is running at about 90% RPM of the maximum RPM that you configured. And some people told me that they want it to be a much lower uh, RPM. So you can now configure also the start RPM. So this is the RPM of the motor before you throw it. You can also get it down to zero. So the motor will start only when you throw it and not before. So uh, as, you, as you decide. So uh, as you can see, this timer is very easy to program uh, compared to the old one. The use of the timer is exactly the same like it used to be. And again, what's more important that everyone who has uh, this timer, the old version, uh, it's upgradable. You can send it to me, contact me, and uh, I'll put the email in the description and you can contact me and uh, I can upgrade you the timer uh, for you. And um, also, if you have any other comments or suggestions or any ideas to new features that I can add here inside this app in order to make the timer even better for E36, uh, please let me know. Uh, you can write me here in the comments. So thank you very much for watching. I hope uh, this video was uh, interesting and helpful. And see you next time. Bye-bye.